Hello, I'm Mohamed Boudare from University of Twente. I'm gonna talk about compact over the air measurement setup for evaluation of MIMO antenna systems. I am PhD at University of Twente and uh, also I did some second some months uh, secondments in Gafwave uh, and Rampland companies in Sweden and uh, United Kingdom as these two compa companies were the partners of our project. Our project was about millimeter wave communications in the built environments or wavecom. My role was a design of compact OTA measurement setup. Uh, as it is shown in, in figure one, I provided top view of the compact measurement setup. In a measurement setup for antenna systems, we have an anechoic chamber. Uh, which includes the chamber array or reference array and uh, at the other another side we have a quiet zone that we can put antenna system under test within the quiet zone and uh, usually it includes the rotating platform in order to rotate the antenna system to characterize the antenna systems uh, depending on different directions we want to use this uh, measurement setup in order to synthesize the random line of sight uh, environment uh, in order to evaluate the performance of massive MIMO based stations or large platforms that support telecommunication equipment. We want to make it more compact in order to decrease the cost and expenses of the uh, implementation of uh, anechoic chambers and um, in order to reach to this goal we have to put the antenna under test um, closer to the chamber array uh, or in the other words I can say that we have to put the antenna under test in the near field of chamber array but uh, meanwhile we have to emulate the far field uh, condition over the quiet zone so we have to synthesize the plane wave within the quiet zone. I want to focus on design of chamber array in order to have the planar wave in the near field of the chamber array. So uh, to have uh, such uh, performance, I, we can suppose that we have an array layout including uh, many radiating elements. Uh, which uh, in this case I have supposed that we have 23 times 23 grid arrangement for the radiating elements and uh, each circle here at this at figure uh, 2 represents uh, one radiating element uh, by including or ex excluding some radiating elements I try to s synthesize the planar wave in the near field or within the this uh, imaginary cylinder which is represent which represents the quiet zone that we need uh, to have a, such a quiet zone in order to put uh, our antenna under test within this uh, test zone the conditions of the uh, of the research problem uh, we suppose that uh, we have the fixed uh, values for the size of the cylinder and also we have put the cylinder in a fixed dis distance from the reference antenna uh, we just uh, at this uh, research at uh, this part of the world we just uh, used the thinning concept which means that we excluded some radiating elements for example those uh, are solid or are orange are kept in the array and those are uh, just the circle uh, those are excluded in order to uh, have the uniform electrical field with better quality within the test zone as the output of the optimization process uh, we reach to this arrangement for the radiating elements as I told, the, the white circles are excluded and the other ones uh, are kept in the array. And also we have, uh, we had the spacing between the radiating element 
as another input for the optimization process. In order to have some investigations on the performance of the purpo uh, proposed array layout, I put uh, an array with 10 times 10 uh, uh, isotropic elements on this plane, on the central parallel plane, and by rotating that array as an antenna under test, we can calculate the radiation pattern of that array by using this uh, chamber array or the proposed array. And the uh, spacing between the elements of the antenna under test is equal and uniform. So theoretically we can uh, calculate the the radiation pattern of array with 10 times 10 uh, isotropic element uh, which is shown with da blue dashed line as a theoretical pattern in the, at this fig uh, this figure in this figure and the radiation pattern which is calculated by help of the proposed uh, array layout is shown with uh, solid uh, orange uh, plot which uh, we can see that in most part of the uh, graph or radiation pattern these two plots uh, agree with each other and in order to have more details I magnified the first null and the first side lobe of the radiation pattern and I showed them here uh, we can see that in the first null we have just a little bit uh, shift which is just a fraction of the one degree and uh, in the uh, peak value of the side lobe we have uh, less than one db difference but uh, in total we can say that uh, the performance of the proposed uh, array layout is acceptable or is good thank you for watching this short video if you are interested uh, in this topic or in this project uh, please do not hesitate to contact me or visit the wavecom uh, project portal